Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do the viewer vids video from the late winter, early spring. So thanks everybody who submitted a video. Let's get right into it. Facing north, we've got a little bed of blueberries over there. We're going to put in some strawberries and asparagus. Downspout coming over there. Downspout here is feeding into a little mini swale system. We've got a hazelnut here and a hazelnut back there. Some Jerusalem artichokes waiting to come up in that in that swale. We've got a couple strawberries started here. There's some cucumbers and sunflowers over there. I can't see, obviously. Wood pile delivered by the tree guy. I'm going to cut it myself for firewood. Uh, there's another sheet mulch section with a cherry tree over there. That was planted in the fall and is leafing out. Same on the right side, but the one on the right side has some blackberries and some comfrey and some Jerusalem artichokes. This one on the left has, doesn't have much support. This is the south facing uh, side. All this stuff is trees and plants that were here waiting to see what all develops and, and cut some of it back. Some poplar trees. There's four there to be coppiced, compost, and then over here four apple trees that uh, are just getting started. This is my garden. This is how I've constructed my um, my raised beds. This is all peonies, lots of daffodils. This is my chicken coop, which I'm still uh, reconstructing and getting uh, more winterized, I guess. It's going to be my sand bath for my chicken. I have uh, some raspberries along the side over here for the chickens and for myself. I have more raised beds over here. I got my uh, broccoli. I'll propagate my uh, strawberries over here, which is going to go to my apple orchard. Uh, broccoli and cauliflower coming up. My onions, I'm still uh, going to be uh, planting. My compost pile, I have about three or four of them. This is my garlic patch, which I, I'm also propagating uh, bubbles, which are the smaller of the uh, first year uh, garlic. This is my tomato beds that I'm going to be using. This is the new uh, raised wood chip uh, garden I'm going to use for, for larger plants like um, zucchini, squash, uh, vines like uh, watermelons, etc. My blueberry patch, my solar panel with my apple orchard and cherries. Got black currants, red currants, gooseberries, and pears. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for coming and visiting our garden in Guelph, Ontario. Have a great day. Good morning, Canadian permaculture. It's April 6th. This is my front garden here in Guelph, Ontario. We have a raised bed and a couple other small beds. Now I'll take you to the back. So quickly, we're just gonna do the back garden. I'm just getting some seedlings going and planting some seeds today. We have two cherry trees in our yard here. It's uh, 20 by 30 feet. We have some raspberry canes in the back. We mulch every year, trying to build up our soil. The dog had a haircut yesterday. I leave that for the birds to put in their nests. And then last year we had all of our berry bushes down here. They weren't getting enough sun. So I moved them, I'll show you in a second. And we have a couple of tomato planters here. This is our main bed. We grow most of our vegetables here and in the front, but we're going to add a second bed this year to this side as well. And I'm going to put some sort of a cattle panel or something to arch over the walkway that we can grow up onto vertically. And these are some strawberry plants or wild creeping thyme. And this is where we moved the berry bushes. So we have some red currants, some blueberries, and some honey berries. 
That's our water catchment there. We have another raised bed. This is where we grow our Karen Terriers. They're kind of cute. And we have our compost. The mulch is really good too for the dogs because it neutralizes the smell from their urine. So. Okay, upstairs transplants of some propagated stuff. This overwintered strawberries. Geranium from seed and uh, pansies from seed I collected. They're going out on the deck. I'm redoing this horizontal. I forgot your uh, request. Uh, you can see the mountains. This is our deck. We've got flower boxes up on top. Beautiful mountains there. So, this is the side yard. A uh, bunch of fruit bushes. Now back into the main garden. The cherry tree. Uh, redoing the patio. And a raspberry patch. And then in the backyard, I've got uh, eight of these four by eight beds. Uh, those are some pollards with, I'm gonna grow climbing stuff on it. Cattle panels. And there's a little hot house on the far side. Backyard, fruit, lots of fruit, uh, apples, cherries, plums, pears, uh, putting in apricots, uh, grapes, uh, blueberries, and of course, uh, lots of veggies. So again, thank you for anyone who submitted a video. We'll do a follow-up in the summer. And for now, I'll leave you with clips of early this morning with the rabbits and with the dogs. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Here they come now. Come on. It's me. Hi. <laughs> hey.